Hi, it's Jess here from iJess.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm here with a video for the colour challenge I did for the Crafty Challenge blog hop. And it's a colour challenge. And um, it's Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy and Balmy Blue. So I was quite pleased with that. And um, I thought I'd use Handsomely Suited and the Suit and Tie dies. Um, for this, make a nice masculine card. I love this set, I've used it a lot. Um, but, so my prototype for this, which I made uh, whilst I was sort of playing with this to begin with, just to see different ways of using it without doing the traditional sort of suit, which is, you know, what, what I saw everybody doing. And I did it in completely different colours, uh, just to see how it would look. So I made this sort of waist jacket with a bow tie and a nice fancy shirt. So I'm going to remake that in um, in these colours. Um, so uh, so yeah, um, that's what we're doing. So I haven't haven't tried it out. I'm just sort of going with the flow. So I've got some Knight of Navy. So my idea, I think, it was going to do Knight of Navy for the waist jacket, and I might use the balmy blue for the card base, and I'm going to do some stamping on some whisper white to make the shirt and i'm going to use this little splatter here from painted poppy because i think that would look quite nice and i'm gonna use misty moonlight and balmy blue to make the the shirt pattern that's my idea so i don't need this much i just kind of um need a small piece of it actually i might have a smaller piece oh that's thick whisper white just having a look to see if i've got how oh, that'll do i'll just chop it i'll just chop it down to get what i want Oops. trim it upside down yeah so this is a this is a, a, a crafting on the fly i'm going to chop it down to about three inches i think that'll be absolutely fine yes crafting on the fly um let's see where we go and it was such a long time ago that i made the other one i might need to think about it so got that mounted gonna go all over with mr moonlight Random, that wasn't very random, although with the splatters, kind of looks a bit random, doesn't it? I've got a bit of a gap going on there. Let's just fill that gap. There we go. So now I want to clean that and um, go over it in balmy blue. So I'm going to like fill those gaps in and I just thought this would make an interesting pattern. And probably if, if we didn't have Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight, I would probably do this in Night of Navy, but can we use the colours? I'm liking that. Not a lot of white left. That is a nice pattern. So, uh, we need, I, I need a little scrap to do the bow tie. So, I've got lots of scraps next to me. Is one of them those tie size? Maybe. Maybe that's better. Let's get a bow tie size. Um, so I used that bow tie. I was thinking of doing that one. Can't decide. Gonna stamp them both. And I think I'm going to stamp it in Misty Moonlight. So. Yeah. 
that one and then let's get the other one as well oh didn't stamp that very well better and then got a bit of wing costella and uh, just rubbed it over drag the colors give it a little bit more of a blue tinge could do this with just a paintbrush so you don't get the bling but I quite like the blingy the blinginess so it's quite sweet there we go so they need die cutting as does the waist jacket bits so i'll get them ready okay so i've got everything ready so i'd forgotten that i was going to cut bits off this but i think i can still do it so i'm going to do the strip for the shirt so that can come off the end there i need a bit for the collar so i can do that down the bottom and then from the stitched triangles i took the smallest right angle could of course if you haven't got that just cut a little triangle so that will fit inside there quite nicely actually so cut that down like so and then that just gives me enough there is that rectangle to go on that bit there um, obviously going to cut my bow ties okay and then to get the waist jacket I'm going to use this um sort of v and that's gonna sort of get cut out the top there and then i'm gonna cut this bottom v out the bottom so that the bottom v is wider than the top okay so that's what i'm gonna do and then there'll be little bits left over so i can cut these sort of waist jacket pocket bits so I can cut one there and one there and I'm going to cut the buttons in Misty Moonlight. See, great way of using your scraps. That's why a lot of people would have chucked that away. Not me, not me, worth it. And and I'll probably get another little scrap of um, Night of Navy because I think I'll need another little scrap of that. Um, and... Uh, there, yeah, got scrap there. And um, I'm going to cut both colours out because I'm not decided um, how I'm going to do it. I might do Misty Moonlight buttons on the shirt and Night of Navy on the waist jacket. But I don't know. Oh, and I need to cut a strip of that as well. So I need a little bit more of the um, Night of Navy uh, to do that. So I'll get those all cut out. So that's everything cut out and I forgot to mention that I embossed the waist jacket with this textile embossing folder that I never remember what it's called but love it. So that's it cut. We've got our bit of a shirt going on there. There is enough room there for that to show underneath. I've got to trim this down a tad. Um, obviously that's going to have the centerpiece going down there with that on it which is why I thought that was going to be enough because that will get covered this got to get trimmed slightly we've got a bit there for the center of that we've got our pockets I didn't um, emboss these bits didn't think it needed it just need one little handkerchief and then sort of decide which which bow tie i want that one or that one 
I don't think I'm ready to decide. So I'm going to trim that down. So I'm going to make it the size of a card mat. So I just need to trim a bit off the top and the bottom because it's over half a half a, a sheet so that's the mat size so that's it trimmed down that way and let's see do we need to trim anything off the sides just a just a tiny tad gonna have to take it off both sides so that it's um so that it's even Should have probably thought about this first and trimmed it down, but I didn't. I did actually think I'd picked up one of my already pre-cut, ready-to-go um, mats, but I didn't. It was only when I was embossing that I thought, oh, that's a bit big, that. So that's that ready. And so my next decision, so I'm not going to put this away yet, is do I want it on a balmy blue card base or a whisper white one so I'm going to trim this straight get rid of that bit trim this down there so I want that level at the bottom. It doesn't matter that it's not level at the top because it's going to get covered with this. That's going to get trimmed down and then the shirt. Shirt will cover it. So that's on a balmy blue. This is where I I would normally like take a photo. Quite like that because it's picking up the blue that's in that, isn't it? Liking that. Not sure that I even need to audition it on a white because I think I'm going with the balmy blue. Yeah, I like it on the balmy blue. So we just need to score this. It's already the right size for the card. There we go. My bone folder. So I will need a bit of this for the inside. I mean, you could write in balmy blue, but I just like it finished off with white in the inside. So that's for the inside, that's for the outside. So let's get this all, put those with my sentiment scrapped section. That's just to the side of me. Never chuck them away. So let's get this built up. So that needs to go down there. Um, that'll go on there like that. I'm just going to, I've got some. I think it's because I cut it after it was embossed, so there's bits of bits of fluffy bits. So just taking an emery board here, take them off. That's today's tip. Always have an emery board to hand. And so I think it's just there's. I haven't had them with the other bits and I think it's just because it's been embossed so the fibres are broken so 
if you've ever scored and then tried to cut on a score line, you get fluffy bits. It's because you've broken the fibres in the card. So I think sometimes I've maybe gone to prematurely um, change my um, trimmer braid and I didn't need to. So I'm going to stick this down. So, which bow tie? That one. That one. Don't know if I don't think that's a little bit more like a comedy clown tie. So I think we're going to go with that one. So, some mini dimensionals. There we go. And then we've just got the buttons. So I'm thinking, always dangerous, that I want Misty Moonlight on the shirt. And I'll try and decide if I wanted to put Misty Moonlight. On here as well. Thinking possibly not. Definitely want it on the shirt. So I'm gonna put one up there. I think I'm gonna try and get three in at the bottom here. I think that'll look nice. Could have gone balmy blue, just thought of that. That's a knight in navy. Seem to have lost a misty moonlight button. I had six of them. There's only five there. Oh, I'm going to nick one of them because I'm not going to do that in misty moonlight anyway. Yep. So let's get these. So I'm just going to do a little dot. Like so. There we have it. So then we just need to stick this in the middle. Not adding a sentiment. I've got quite a few of these made up. Mail cards like this without sentiments on. And I'm um, going to add them. Going to add them later when I kind of have an appropriate uh, reason for sending out uh, a mail card, which I think is handy. So yeah, during lockdown I've needed quite a few mail cards for different reasons. And um, yeah, so nice to have them on hand. So there we have it. So that's a nice blue one and that's a nice pinky one. So hope you like them. All the details will be on my blog, modus.co.uk. Links down below 
to everything that I've used. So you can just click on them. It'll take you to my shop and um, be linked to the blog. And I will make sure that I'm linked to the blog hop as well. So you can see what everybody else has done with this color combination. So see you again soon.